Hi, welcome to Ty's Catcher's Kitchen. Today I'm making an alkaline meatloaf. And the items I'm using are currently on Dr. Saves Nutritional Guide, and they are mushrooms, chickpeas, garbanzo bean flour, homemade barbecue sauce. I have the recipe in the description box below. Agave, chopped onions, chopped green peppers, chopped Roman tomatoes, oregano, basil, cayenne, savory, sea salt, onion powder, and ginger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my food processor, take three cups of mushrooms, these are already sliced, two cups of cooked garbanzo beans, half a cup of chopped onions, half a cup of chopped green peppers, one chopped tomato, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of basil, a half a teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons of savory, one teaspoon of ginger, one tablespoon of sea salt, two tablespoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of agave, and the homemade barbecue sauce, one third cup. I need a bigger uh, food processor. This thing's gonna be it's full. We're gonna, do, we're gonna blend it. And mix it up a little bit. It's gonna take a little time. Now the meatloaf mix is done. Next step, take the meatloaf mixture from the food processor. And we're gonna add a little more vegetables. So about a third cup of chopped green peppers. Third cup of chopped onions. Blend it in. Then we'll add about a cup of garbanzo bean flour or any approved flour that you like. We're going to blend it. And I have extra flour just in case if the vegetables are too wet, you may have to add more flour to it. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more flour. Quarter cup at a time. Now we're going to take the meatloaf mixture and put it in a loaf pan that I grease with grapeseed oil. Uh, what I'm going to do is smooth it out. And I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to top it off. Smooth that out and we're going to bake it in the oven at 350. So after 40 minutes the alkaline meatloaf is now ready and it smells great. We're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes because if you cut into it too early it's going to have a mushy texture and there it is alkaline meatloaf it looks like a meatloaf 
And boy, oh boy, it tastes like a meatloaf. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy.